Welcome to a new installment of Wood Gas Stove Science, where we're going to be working on the development of a forced air wood gas stove. This is part one. The construction of this new stove uh, is made out of a 10 ounce coffee mug. Uh, the inner burn chamber, which is the coffee mug, has eight 1 16th by 3 8 primary air slots and 16 quarter inch diameter secondary air holes. The outer burn chamber is made out of the stainless steel travel mug and the bottom is left open. The blower chamber is made out of a Progresso soup can with the top removed and then the side uh, modified to fit a fan. Uh, and the flame concentrator that you'll see later was made out of a large stewed tomato can. Uh, we start out this burn with a three quarter cup of wood pellets and then a little bit of pellets soaked in alcohol. Once we light this, uh, we can turn the fan on almost immediately, as long as you turn it on low. Since this is a development project, currently I'm using my adjustable power supply to adjust the speed of the fan. Later, we'll need some sort of electronic and battery case so this can be portable. Um, very shortly uh, after lighting this, I put on my flame concentrator and within just a few seconds you can see that the alcohol has burned away and the wood is actually doing the burning. You can tell because of the yellow flame. One of the standard things that I do with all of my tests is a boil test. Uh, in this test I'm using a steel coffee can with four cups of water in it. Uh, the ambient temperature is a little bit less than 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, at the beginning of this boil and the coffee can was not covered at all throughout the whole burn test. Here you can see the flame shooting out the bottom under the can. Uh, in just a few minutes you could definitely see that the water was starting to simmer but since it was not covered it took a little bit longer to boil. By eight minutes we had a rolling boil with four cups of water. That was pretty good considering it was uncovered throughout the whole test. One of the questions that I'm asked a lot of is whether these are actually updraft or downdraft stoves. Uh, I have just recently devised a plan on how to test that, uh, which you'll see in an upcoming video. One of the nice parts about using a fan is that you can vary your flame temperature easily by just adjusting your voltage. Uh, here's a nice view down inside the stove. You can see some of the blue flames. Uh, the flame throughout this whole burn has been very strong and very clean burning. Absolutely no smoke and didn't seem to be a affected too much by wind. Uh, as you can see, I've left the garage door open um, and there is a breeze. One of the major signs of an efficient burn is that you don't get any smoke throughout the entire burn. Uh, this burn, like I said, produced no smoke even at the end. When the flame went out, there was absolutely no smoke. Overall, this seemed like it was a pretty good burn. I'm going to make some adjustments to the secondary airflow and also some adjustments to the primary airflow and see if we can get a little bit hotter, a little bit better uh, burn. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy. The entire burn was about 18 minutes from starting to when the flame went out and um, that seemed pretty good for three quarters of a cup. Uh, thank you for joining me with Wood Gas Science forced air wood gas stove development part one. Thanks again and goodbye.